now that we finished our lanyard, we're gonna move on to another wagon train classic. If you guys were with us last summer, you'll remember our beaded lizards and everybody loved them because they looked really cool and they were really easy to make. We're gonna be doing the same craft this summer, but with a twist. We're making beaded cows. So Smiles is going to go through each step as I explain the instructions. First things first, we're gonna fold the lanyard string in half. Once we find the middle point, we're gonna put our two pink beads on like we're making a necklace. Let them fall to the center point. Once we've done that, we're gonna put three white beads on one side of the string. But we're not gonna let them fall to the center like we did with the pink beads. Smiles is going to hold them in place on just one side. Next, she's going to take the other part of the white string and she's gonna put them through the other side of the beads, going in the opposite direction. So the two strings are going in two opposite directions through the beads to make an X. We'll call it an X from this point on. Now she's going to take the two strings and she's gonna pull them tight. At this point, the strings like to get twisted, so if they do get twisted, don't worry. All you have to do is sit there and untwist them, untangle them or do whatever you have to do. If you think that it doesn't look right or you might've gotten it wrong, don't panic. Take the white beads off and try again. Next, we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of doing it with three white beads, we're gonna do it in a pattern with a black, two whites, and then a black bead again. This is gonna make the eyes of the cow. So put all four beads on one string, take the other string and go in the opposite direction to make an X. It'll go through all the beads, and if you drop the beads, that's okay. All you have to do is put them back up on one side of the string, put the other string in the opposite direction, make an X and pull them tight. Again, if it gets twisted or it crumbles up, that's okay. Just untwist it and keep going. Now, we did three white beads, then we did the black, white, white, black. Now we're gonna do four white beads again. So put four white beads on one string and make an X. It's the same as we've been doing the last two steps. Put it through the four white, which can be tricky, don't worry. Take your time. Pull it tight, untangle it, untwist it as you need to. And after this point, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So as Smiles tightens her beads, I'm going to explain how we can, we're going to do the ears. Now the ears are a little different as you see, they're not like an X. So once Smiles is ready, we're gonna move on to doing the ears. So what you're gonna do is instead of working with both sides at the same time, instead of using two strings at once, you're just gonna focus on one side at a time. So whether it's left side or the right side that you do first, we're gonna do the same process twice, okay? So choose one side. Smiles will probably do the right side first. So she's gonna take two black beads and put them on one string. Again, don't even mess with the other string right now. She's gonna let them fall to the middle, which is different from making an X. Now things can get a little tricky, so pay attention. She's gonna go over the first bead, but back through the second one. And she's going to pull it tight. And this is going to make the ear. So again, we're gonna walk through that. We're gonna go on the other string, same process. Put two black beads, let them fall to the middle, go over the first one and back through the second one toward the middle. Now, if you don't put it close enough to the middle, you're gonna get an ear that's far away from the head. It's okay. <laughs> Just move the beads back toward the middle and tighten it as you need to. Again, if you feel like it looks funny or you don't think you did it right, just take the beads off. They come off really easily and you can just try again. Now we're on to the last step of our beaded cow. So Smiles is going to go back to making an X. So she's gonna put three white beads on one string, take the other string, put it 
back through the beads going in the opposite direction to make an X and pull tight. And that's it. That's your beaded cap. But we want to make sure we secure it before we put it down or the beads might fall off. So Smiles is just going to make a simple knot, but she's going to tie it twice. So she's going to make one knot, make a second knot, and tie it tight. If your strings are twisted, don't tie it off yet. Go back, untwist the strings, pull it as tight as you want, and then tie it off. If you tie it off first, before it's twisted, then the strings are going to stay twisted. And that's the beaded cow. I hope you enjoyed your crafts today. Have a great day.